Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Today, well, we've got something very special for you. Very, very exciting. Well, one thing, we've got the kitchen. That kitchen's almost done. You guys have saw which video? Do we did we decide which one it was? It was, was it, it was a catch cook. Was it the deer or raccoon? Does anyone remember? There was a reason why we I think it was the deer. I think you're right. It was the deer. The raccoon we did in like the garage. Yeah, we did it in the garage. I think maybe both. Yeah, it might have maybe been both. both. Basically, it was either the deer video or the raccoon video where I showed this kitchen completely torn apart and explained why we couldn't do the catch and cook in it because there was nothing working and now everything is working. So this is kind of like a quick little reveal. Here it is. We've got the world's largest fridge and freezer. I mean, look at Bonzo. Bonzo, can, you, can we get a comparison here? Yo, a beef cake, model. beef cake. Okay. Look at, he looks like a, open he looks like a, a non a beef cake. I guess. Yeah, look how big they are. Oh my gosh. Like, you could put a lot of bodies in there if you yeah, really don't want. Don't say that. Okay, you probably shouldn't do that. But, like, you guys get the idea. I mean, it is, it's absolutely massive. Even Millie thinks it's, it's freaking big. But, then we've got this. Then we've got this huge hood, wood, wood looking thing that has a vent and some lights. Then you've got this thing, too. Boom. This is under all of these different things. What else is cool? This. Millie, how's it going? Oh, yeah, this. this. Ready? Ready? Can, Magic. Can I do it? Bonzo is a magician. You ready? How do you make that? How does it make you feel, John? It makes Out of, something dirty so clean. Yeah, because like, wow. you know, you ever walk around when you just got handfuls of, what was that? Can we get an adjustment a little tighter? A little the other? Okay. You got handfuls of dirty hands, and then you just walk over and just give it a, just give it a quick little love tap. Opens up. You guys need this in your life. And if you're wondering, no, these, uh, this is electrical tape. We're trying to decide where we want handles. You know, do you want a handle here? Or do you want it here? So we're trying to decide that right now by using electrical tape. Open shelves, we got this thing that does that thing. Is there anything else that's cool in here? The boys and I, we wanna make something that we've been looking forward to, which is this right here. This is some Shore Lunch Creamy Wild Rice Soup Mix. Bonzo, how does the soup mix make you feel? I think it's gonna be great. It's cold outside. It is. You got, yeah. gotta, gotta warm yourself up, warm up your soul. This video is sponsored by Shore Lunch. They'll be linked down below if you guys wanna go check them out. They're helping me out with this video, so go help me out. If you guys are looking for soup mix, you guys have seen us, we use their beer batter all the time for frying stuff. I mean, they've got like the best recipes. Actually, I think the raccoon video, we actually used there. It was the buffalo, spicy buffalo, spicy buffalo sauce. Anyways, not the sauce, the seasoning, the, the breading fry. But today we are using their creamy wild rice soup mix. They've got a bunch of other soup mixes too, um, especially with it being holiday seasons, the winter, it's cold outside. You come inside from after working all day outside or shoveling snow or making snowmen or doing whatever you're doing that day you make soup. So we're gonna be doing that and then we're gonna head out on a filming adventure. You guys stay tuned. <sighs> Smells like victory or something. You going in with me, Bonzo? Is it hot? It's not cold, I can I tell you that much. I just burn my mouth. It was easy though. You literally, like, I can't cook at all. We know. At all. We know. But like, you throw water in there and boil it, throw the mix in there, simmer for 20 minutes, you're done. Like, easy as easy can get. All right, I'm just going in. Oh, wow. That was actually yeah. pretty good. Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's not cold, but, dude, that is like the perfect soup to come in. Like, if you're coming in from the cold, are you about. Sorry. It's all right. Nice, just need. If you're coming in from the cold or about to go out in the cold, you got like pregame. Like right now we're pre-gaming right now. You know, it's like you're playing sports and you like had carb loading day, like the day before. Yeah. This is what you do when you live on a farm. You load up on hot soup and then you go outside and work. You've never, you've never really had wild rice soup, have you? It's really good. It is good. It's like really good actually. Yeah. Dude, like what's crazy is I would never know that that's not like homemade. Yeah. Like, if someone was like, yeah, this was from a bag you put water in, right. I would be like, absolutely From not. scratch. No, this is taste fire. John, you gotta get on this, man. You guys know John's like the harshest food critic on the squad, so it's gonna be, oh, eh, I don't know. Bro, this is so good. Yeah, I was gonna say, you're a big soup guy. Fire, huh? Dude, good. That's so good. Dude, that like warms the soul. Yep, it soothes it the soul. After organizing. What was that? Can I get that warms again? warms the soul. He definitely just played with his, Never mind. we're just gonna, this is, a, this is a family channel here. Cut. But you like it, mm, it's good. Seconds. Ooh, ooh. Double dipping. He just double dipped, yeah, that's your I bowl. I wasn't gonna do I'm that. A, I'm gonna go ahead and house the rest of this. You, you go ahead and just have your bowl. It's all right, you're, 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 you got you're good. this. Good though, we got thumbs up? It was so good. Thumbs, thumbs up. up. 
Ooh, wow, rare. Pretty freaking good. Like I said, if you guys want to go check it out, they are sponsoring this video, so huge shout out to those guys. It is fire. We're not lying. I know you guys see us eat a lot of crazy things. We say they're good. It's because uh, Mad Chef over here cook, cooks up and chefs up the game. But this is something that even Bonzo cooking. I should have had you cooked it because you can't cook, and you definitely is, wouldn't even mess. That's not true. I'm a good cook. <laughs> you live with him. Yeah. I'm a good cook. Don't Warming lie. something up in the microwave is not good. No, I wasn't talking this about that. This is about e as easy as that. That's, I should have had you cook. Bonzo, even Bonzo wouldn't mess up. But if you guys are looking to step up your soup game, make soup creations easy. Making soup, uh, you know, your grandma's homemade soup is probably fire, but this is equally as fire, and it's way easier to make, and there's a bunch of varieties. Like I said, they'll be linked down below if you guys want to go check them out. And uh, we're going to get on with the day. Now we're all fueled up. Actually, I, I need a... I need my own bowl. John's just, John's polishing up that, that bowl off on his own. I need to get my own bowl. We're going to fill up on some soup and get on with today's adventure. You guys stay tuned. Shoo. All right, folks. Well, we are, we're going to the greatest place on earth. You guys already know the job. I ain't got to say, but uh, we're headed in. We got to go. We got a special video plan, a special day plan. Actually, tomorrow's the big day. We just, uh, we just finished eating up that soup, and uh, now we're headed to the store right now to go try and dangle up some Christmas decorations. It's the holidays, folks. Christmas is coming up real quick here. And I thought, you know what? Instead of just hanging and putting up a big Christmas tree like everybody else does, why not see if we can cut it down with a gun? Like, maybe take a bunch of guns. Maybe start with the pellet gun, go over to the 22, up to the 223, all the way to a 308. I think that's the biggest caliber I got. I got some handguns too, like a nine mil that we could also try. But what's the Christmas tree without decorations? So we're actually gonna start the video off at Walmart, getting all the decorations. And then tomorrow, we're gonna go try to cut down a tree and decorate it and have some fun. You guys stay tuned. You know, Bonzo, he decided to ditch us. He literally came to my house to eat soup, fed the kid dinner, and then he went home. He's like, ah, you guys got this. You don't need me for Walmart. I got Snapchat. DMs to respond to. Do you DM on Snapchat? I feel old. Anyways, so I think the payback should be getting him a cute little outfit. Something like that. He looks like an elf. This is definitely elf. And we got, and we got the bells. What size do you think Buddy is? Medium? I feel like he'd fit in a medium. Uh, yeah, he's definitely medium. Alright, we'll get this. If there's anything better, we might buy it. But for right now, he's going to be an elf. And that's, that's his punishment for ditching us. He gets to wear this tomorrow. Bro, look at this. It's a freaking llama, dude. Dude, I want one of these for the farm so bad. I just gotta find one. I just gotta find one to get. But I think since Bonzo's got a fit going on, I think we all need fits, except his is funny because it's for girls and it's got jingle bells on it. Looks like an elf. But I feel like the llama fits kind of the strat. So I'm gonna get this and John, Johnny gotta pick out one too. So we've all gotta be rocking Christmas sweaters for tomorrow's event. You like this one? I like that one. Because you can put you can put your claw in here. Ooh. Your look, your claw could give it a dangle right there. You know what I mean? You ever dangle a claw? You can't now. You like this one? You get with uh, it? I like that one. Okay. Alright, well. There you go, folks. We uh, came in here for Christmas decorations for a tree and are walking out with $80 worth of Christmas sweaters that we'll probably wear once. But now we gotta go find some lights. Lights? Well, we got, what are these? These blue? These are blue. Blue? Okay. I don't really want that. I want some red red and green. Oh, here's red and green. We've got some here. You wanna take this for a minute? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm trying to do multitasking here, vlogging. We've got one already open, so they probably don't work pack. A 50 LED multicolor mini light. Not what we're after. They've got candle lights. They've got a lot of things. I am not seeing much though. I'm kind of, I mean, I mean, we did kind of wait last minute a little bit, but this is definitely the section where everything would be. This Walmart's kind of, I mean, we could literally buy a pre-lit tree. As lit as a pre-lit tree is, it's really not that lit. It's more lit to cut down a tree with a gun and then light it yourself. I feel like that's way cooler. I'm trying to think of what else we could get here. Cause obviously we're gonna have to go somewhere else. Is there um, a stand, you know? Like that's probably something we're gonna need. Oh yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah. See, so we could use that. Oh, that's Stand. a Hager. Yeah. We can get a we can get a big tree. Okay. Is there anything else? Ornaments. We could get some ornaments. I, I think we could we could probably find some ornaments. Lights are just not happening here, man. Just just not good. Ooh, what do we got? This is a 50, a fifteen piece. How many pieces? They come with the little dangle sticks, or, or are they blanks? Nope, they don't. You need that. You would need dangle sticks. The hooks. They don't come with that. They don't come with that. I know. Botch. I mean, there's, I wish they had like giant ornaments, like the size of basketballs. Like that's the kind of ornaments I'm after. I feel like I need to open my own store with just things that I would buy, but no one else would probably buy them. It'd probably just end up being me. Here we go. Ornament hooks. Boom. hundred of them. hundred of them should be sufficient. You think we're gonna buy more than hundred? Probably not. What do you think? I think this is pretty I like good. these ones. I like the green and yeah, the red like and the gold. Should we, so we got a hundred of those things? Yeah. I don't know if we should put a hundred of them on, but we yeah. can put quite a bit. Okay. Okay. So we got that one. So what, is this 30? Let's just, let's just buy all of them. There's five of them. 
What's five times 15? Anyone got math? 75. Yeah. It is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm smart. All right, we're getting 75 then. Well, we might as well get 100 if we're getting 75, right? True. Okay, so we need 25 more. I mean, again, if we're getting 75, we might as well just get 100, so. In the hidden, oh, this is a 50 count? Are they as big? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Same size. So why don't we just take, how many are in these? They're 15, so you're gonna have to take one out would be 60, you'd be 10 over. We can use them for clays, shooting clays. No one's gonna be mad at that. Oh, that's why there's so many, there's little ones. Screw that. There's little ones in there. That's why there's 50. They're like this big. Kegger's only. We, we got Kegger's, this is only a Kegger, Kegger mission. I say we just take these. You like, you like silver? I love silver. Silver, and right? you good? I'm good, bro. What about a topper? There's a big star. We need the biggest freaking star they have. Yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing a topper over here either. Oh, this one run sucks, man. I think I think here's the solution. We don't really have a lot of time uh, to go drive around just because mainly because I live in the middle of nowhere and there's this is basically the closest store. And uh, so I think here's what we're gonna do. Since Bonzo dipped, I'm gonna give him a shout and say, hey, listen, Bonzo, since you dipped, you've gotta go get the remaining items. We got half of them. We just got ornaments and clothing, which he's not gonna know about. He needs to find lights, hella lights, and a topper and I'm gonna have him bring those tomorrow morning and we're gonna get started on cutting down a Christmas tree with a gun. I think it'll work. If not, I've got some boom boom, I believe, in my house so we could just shove some boom boom in the trunk of it and shoot that too, which should also work. But anyways, you guys stay tuned. Sheehee! Oh, did you get all the lights? Oh, okay, good. Hey, how's it going, folks? Bonzo was on light duty and topper duty and you, you managed Kill to acquire the, the top yeah. and get the lights. Perfect. We are on, um, well, right now we gotta look for the tree. I'm thinking like one of these guys. Like, you think that, you think Macy'd approve of that? Like a, uh, that's probably like a 36 footer, something like that. Too big. We don't have a ladder. If we had a ladder, well, probably wouldn't be a good thing because we'd probably end up falling off. We're on tree scouting duty, but we do have five pew pews. You guys, uh, not understand what that is? You'll figure it out here soon. Five pew pews and, um, some boom boom and, a samurai sword. There's not really a nickname for that. It's just a freaking samurai sword. And uh, that's what we're going to use to chop down the Christmas tree. And uh, we figured, hey, you know what? I don't even know what I'm going to title this video other than the fact that I'm just going to use some pew pews to cut down some Christmas trees. And uh, now we got to find the perfect shaped, plump, tall looking tree. It's got to be a kegger. I no, no, no small tree. That, what do you think about that one? You think that one's good enough? That one's kind of cool. Let's go and take a gainer of this guy. <laughs> Dude, how tall do you think that's? Like 25? Yeah. Dude, that's perfect. Yeah, it's 100%. Cool. We're far enough away from the house, too. Look at that. All right. You think it'll work? Yup. I don't know how I'm gonna get down. That's why we brought five pew pews and some boom boom and a samurai sword. Yeah, the bucket of the tractor is probably your only strat. We could do it, though. Jump start the tractor. I'm sure it's dead. It's been cold. We need to uh, clear. We'll probably, yeah, this is a good angle shooting away from the house. Probably. And when we're shooting the boom boom, I can lay on the levee yeah. and shoot. This is a good, this is a good yeah, angle. We're gonna do some limb trimming, so we have a good access point. Dude, you could kill I'll a, use this oh, one. Wow! Surprise, <laughs> mother trucker. But we gotta put the fits on. If you guys know, Bonzo hasn't seen him. He, he thinks right now he's gonna be wearing tights and have a knuckle. I but never said that! He, he thinks that. Unfortunately, we didn't get him tights, but... Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's yours! No, I'm not. Oh my, oh my gosh! Bonzo the elf! Coming in hot, baby! I don't think that's made for me. Bro, it's 100% made for you. It's a large. You got this. Yeah, yeah. women's large. Yeah, it is women's large. <laughs> you got this, buddy. See, now if you get lost, we'll always be able to find you. You got bells attached. We won't lose the bonzo. This is perfect. I got you. I'll help you. Thank you. See, I told you this would fit. Bonzo's a beefcake, but it works. Oh, gosh. It's a little, a little tight up here, honestly. Bro, it shows off your figure. Look at that freaking dude. He's just like, he walks around like this. He's just a freaking beefcake. Look at that. Shoo! Wow. Thank you. I Bonzo appreciate the elf. it so much. Bonzo the elf. Oh god. It's a freaking llama with a llama's ass on the back. <laughs> that's my that's my fit. Johnny's. Johnny's is Santa and he's got a claw pouch. So you can put oh you can hang god. hang a claw and stay refreshed. Why well, yours be a lot cooler than mine, man? Bro, yours looks great. What do you mean, bro? I don't know. What do you mean, dude? This you gotta get in the holiday freaking spirit. This is ridiculous. No, you look good. Don't worry about it. What's funny is that it was like 80 bucks for all for all three of these. Oh my and we gosh. bought these before we even bought anything else. Yeah, that scarf looks great on you down there. <laughs> just gives it just gives it a dangle, you know? Hell yeah, buzzed Santa. That's the name of that <laughs> sweater. Sheesh! Oh, look. look at that medium sweater, bro. It looks Don't good. Jack, bro. No, yeah, you look huge, bro. And then you just throw your refreshments in there. 
And then you're always ready I'm to I'm get strapped, refreshed. Bro. That's funny. Look at that. Buzz, Santa, Mrs. Claus, I mean, Bonzo the Elf. Alpaca slash llama boy. Now we're ready to chop down a tree. But first, before we start shooting pew pews at it, we need to uh, clear, clear a space. We're gonna trim some limbs on the backside. Bonzo the elf help. Perfect. We're good. Time to uh, start shooting. There's probably 10 in there. We're starting with this guy. This is called a 22 LR. Probably not gonna do much, but that's kind of the part of the video. Just, it's kind of a myth busters. Can you cut a Christmas tree down with a pew pew? So we've got this gun, we've got a shotgun, we've got a 223, an AR, a nine millimeter handgun, and we've got a 308 hunting rifle, and boom boom. Boom Boom will be the finale if none of the guns can do it. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start pretty close. We're probably 15 yards away. Probably not safe. Don't do this at home. And enjoy. Fire in the hole. Let her eat. That's oh, it. That's it. Dude, it actually took, did pretty good took damage. The bark off. Bro. I always say that took like an inch and a half off. Honestly, that's not bad. For a 22. The thing is with the, the 223, I've got probably 30 rounds. We're gonna get yeah. back and get cover because yeah. if you had the ricochet. shotgun to like slugs. Yeah, if we had a sh if we had slugs. We don't we have a two shot bird bird shot uh, for the shotgun, but um, yeah, let's do that next. Let's do shotgun next right. and see what happens. No plugs, no limits, baby. Shoot all the trees you want. Hell yeah. That's it, so only four? Yeah. Wow, that's kind of cheap. Yeah, you one extra. Wow, that's not very cool. Wow, this thing's definitely not gonna cycle. No, it, ain't, it ain't gonna cycle, this thing's dry. Anyways, well, we're gonna let this thing rip. Wow, it's taking all the bark off. Sheesh, you did some damage. Not much bark left. Sheesh, sheesh, sheesh. All the BBs are in there. Oh God. Dude, we're doing good. That's pretty good. It is pretty good. We just need something that can penetrate, like far. I think the 223 will get pretty far, and I think the 308. The 9 probably won't go far except mushrooms, yeah. I feel like. I assume the 9 is going to take big chunks. The 223 is going to go fairly deep, and I think the 308 is going to go pretty deep. But honestly, like way better than I expected. I think we've actually got a chance of doing this. Got to get that ear pro in. I'm not trying to go deaf, even though I don't wear it most of the time. But you guys should. You guys should also wear eye protection, which I also don't have. But we're on to the 223. We step back a little bit and we're gonna use the mule as uh, a blocker, I guess, in case we get some ricochets. I don't think, I mean, we were shooting that 22 at about 10 yards and uh, you could hear some ricochets zooming off in the distance. <laughs> Probably not the safest, but luckily, you know, there's no neighbors, so you don't gotta worry about that. But we're going behind the mule, at least that way. If we get hit and we're sitting behind the mule, that's just fate and at that point, it's just your time, you know what I mean? That's the way I think about life. Anyways, here we go. All right, two, two, three, fire in the hole. Oh, tree's still standing. Yo, you like that smell? Firepower, baby. All right, let's go check out the damage. Sheesh, guy. Bro, that dug deep right there. That's where we need to stay shooting. Yeah. Look at all these fragments right here. Shards, I think I literally caught that, cut that whole thing down. Still have a ways to go, but that by far did the most damage. Not bad. Sheesh. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this on the channel. This is my nine millimeter. Never use it, literally never. It might not do anything today, but I haven't shot it in a long time, so I figured this would be a good time to do it. And uh, we moved up closer on this one, hoping for the best, and uh, we'll see what happens. Fire in the hole! Dang, that did good. Whew, that did some damage, boys. That was fun! I don't want to use this thing more often. Oh yeah, that put a, that's the target. I gotta aim right there. We got one more gun left. We have a 308 hunting rifle, the biggest round we have. I should have brought more. Oh, I think I have one bullet. Bonzo, you want to you want to do a final death bullet? There you go, buddy. 
just hit the tree or something. Yeah. Hold on. Okay. There you go. I hit the tree. Yeah. I mean. There you go. <laughs> all right. Now we're good. We've uh, we went through all the 90 man without 16 shots. It's time for the big guns. We got to go full blown 308. It's gonna be tough, but I think we can do it. Oh yeah. These are the Kagers. This is the Walmart deer hunting special. Killed my well second ever deer. First ever rifle deer with this gun. We can get one in the chamber for good luck. Boom. All right. One in the chamber. On safe. Fire in the hole. Really? I did good. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Let's see what happens. I gotta go look at the damage. Gotta look at it. Oh wow, dude, we're about halfway through the tree. Honestly, we're making pretty good progress. I just gotta keep hitting right here. That's where I was aiming. We're, those are about halfway through the tree. All right, I say uh, I'm gonna polish off the rest of those 308 rounds. There's maybe eight left. See where we're at. We're after that. You want to shoot this one, Bonzo? I'll shoot one. You want to shoot just one? I'll shoot it. I don't care. Oh, yeah. You smoked it. Oh, yeah. That was a good spot. Right in the middle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's get this tree down on the ground. Oh, the tree's still standing. That's it's time for boom boom. All right, Bonzo. Hand me the boom boom. We're going to start with... Just one small canister. We've got six small canisters, two large canisters. We have more too, but that's what we mixed up. So I'm basically just gonna duct tape this to the tree, see what happens. I don't think it's gonna do much because the impact is gonna go away from the tree. Maybe a few of these and the whole tree will come down. So we'll see what happens. A little boom boom action. Oh, well, this should be interesting. All right, boys, fire in the hole. Yep, tree still standing. I mean, it didn't do too bad. We're we, we're like halfway through. I say we double the firepower and put two little ones, see if we can get both of them to go off. But I wouldn't say it's a great success. All right, attempt number two. Same amount of boom boom. It made a pretty good dent in it. So we're gonna try to get another one. What we gotta do is we gotta make a little cubby with the boom boom, and then stick the boom boom in the cubby and keep doing it. And I think this will work. So we're gonna try the exact same thing and see if we can get a little bit deeper. Oh, it's looking more. It looks like there's more gone now. I can see a huge splinter. I think this is gonna work. Oh, yeah. Woo! Look at this. We're getting somewhere now. Look at all that. This is what I was talking about. I wanted to see if we could get it to rest inside there. Ooh, this is good. We're getting there. If we can just shave that side off, shave that side off, it's gonna come down. All right, rest it right there. See if we can get the tree down. Here we go, round three. Oh. Fire in the hole. Oh! oh! gone oh shoot dude that was just a one pounder we still have like 20 pounds left wow <laughs> literally gone i know mr beast is out here uh planting trees and get the christmas tree on the ground no better way to do it than some boom boom and some firepower now the fun part's gonna be hauling it down to the animals yeah you're just gonna pick it up yeah we'll just uh just hulk it wow i am very impressed that was cool I am, we did not even, we went like 10% of the boom boom that we had and we got it down. Let's see if we can drag this thing down to the, the animal enclosure. Next, all the inflatables and start decorating. Yeah, this is where it gets fun. Yeah, just give it, give it a couple loops. We'll see, this might break. I got toe straps at home. This thing's a lot heavier than I thought. <laughs> oh, Brent. No, we 
almost made it. It broke. All right, we'll see if it works. Now I'm trying to figure out how we can, how do we get it to stand up? That's the biggest problem. Do we need to trim off some bottom pieces? All right, this thing, has, this thing hasn't been started in quite some time. It hasn't been started in a while, so I doubt it's gonna work. Okay, all right. Steel, I see you. If you had a chance, Quacky, it's not the intro. This is not your time. You might be thinking, if you guys had a chance all the whole time, why don't you just use that? Because that ain't fun. Using boom boom and pew pews is fun. Bonzo, how's it going? Good. Oh, oh that, that felt yeah. solid. All right, I'm gonna, there's some pliers in the middle. Probably. I'm gonna go get some pliers. I think it's a work. All right, boys. One, two, three. Ah, 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 ah. Help keep going. <laughs> You good? There. Oh. There you go. Hold it. She's ah, it. she's leaning. We need to tighten it. You hold it, we just need to tighten it more. It has wiggle room in here. Okay, all right, I'll tighten it. How's that? You Here, I'll hold it. It's leaning your way. Right, yeah, it's yeah, leaning my way right now. All right, kind of let it lean just a little bit, a little bit. Okay, like go ahead and let go a little more. Yeah. Look at that tree, boys. Bonzo, can we get a beefcake comparison here? Quacky, I didn't ask you. I would say you're, I would say it's at least 15 feet tall, I would say. Yeah, about 5, 10, 15, yeah, 13 to 15 feet tall. But an absolute kegger. I mean, I ain't never seen a Christmas tree that big before. But, uh, hey, we're going to make it work. I don't even know if, is that the right kind of tree for a Christmas tree? Isn't that just cedar? What's a spruce? Spruce, a spruce a Christmas tree or no? Yeah, I, I don't know. You guys get that. It looks like a freaking Christmas tree. Quacky! Stop it. We're going to we're gonna start decorating. Obviously you can tell it's about to get dark, which is gonna work well for the lights. Um, so we're gonna get lights out, ornaments out, and then we gotta put Bonzo on top of the tractor to get the star up on top. And uh, all of this is held up by three non-staked in stakes, like literally just leaning stakes. At any point, this thing could come crashing down. So we'll probably just time lapse this, and if it ends up falling, then just uh, we'll have to come back out tomorrow or something. The chickens are coming to investigate. They are interested in this right now. Anyways, enjoy the time lapse. Look at it. It looks good. We realized we only got light enough lights for half the tree, so the back side has nothing on it. But the front side looks good. 100 feet of lights. I thought that was gonna be way too much and we could have bought in 600 feet and still not done it. But as you saw, Bonzo got up on the tractor and did Bonzo things and hung up the, the star snowflake looking thing. And it's just, it's literally giving it a dangle up there if you guys <laughs> haven't seen it. Moment of truth. This is like the, the Clark Griswold thing where he's like, you know one of those things except we just have a, a giant tree that looks like cheeks instead of a house that's decorated but uh here goes nothing moment of truth three two one oh snap crack a pop so beautiful bro that looks fire sheesh guys Yee. we're killing it look at the, even the star works up there you ever see someone decorate a 15 foot Christmas tree after like, shooting it down with boom boom and pew pews? You haven't, all right? First time doing it. Looks good. I mean, I wish we had like 10 times the amount of lights, but it looks good. I mean, from like a distance. Look at it. I'm pretty impressed with us. Dude, I am too. We did it right in time. It's getting dark right now. It took us, I don't know, we started at like 2.30, so it's probably five. So it's almost been almost three hours it took us for us to cut down the tree, put it up, put the lights on it, star on it. 
everything looks good. Well, hopefully you guys are gonna have a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you guys celebrate. Hope you enjoy it with family, with friends, relaxing, and if you're spending your holidays watching this video, really do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace.